Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope everyone is having an amazing day today. And you guys, in today's video, we are going to be sitting down doing a first impressions and a wear test on the new Fenty Easy Drop Blurring Skin Tint. And I'm actually really, really excited to test this out. As soon as I saw it launch, I knew, I knew that this was the launch for me. Originally, I was going to do this because it's a skin tint as a two to three day wear test because I know with skin tints especially, everyone wears them different. Some people think, you know, it's meant to be worn alone. Some people like to build it up with concealer. Some people set with powder. And there's just so many different variations when it comes to, you know, BB creams and CC creams and stuff um, that I wanted to give you guys like multiple ways to wear it. But instead, because by the way, this just got delivered, okay? It got delivered three days late, which, which kind of ate up my whole timeline. Um, so because this just got delivered, I decided what I was going to do instead is pull you guys in like real up close. We're going to take a look obviously at the coverage, the application, is it buildable, all that stuff. And basically just show you guys like my real world application of this. Again, I'm not going to get to give you all the different ways that I wanted to, you know, wearing it alone, doing this, doing that. But I do think it's important to still bring you in, show you the application and what it gives you, but then also how I turn it into what I would wear like on my day to day basis. Uh, because I do have, you know, like a lot of acne, hyperpigmentation and stuff like that. And I, I just want to give you guys, you know, all the information that I can as far as how I wear mine. And you can adjust that to how you wear yours. Also, how do you like my hair? Okay, it's still drying. And I mean, I think it looks fabulous. Now, really quick, before we get going too far into the video, as we do, okay, hello. Um, I want to introduce myself for anybody that might be new. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, I put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, typically right around like 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. So make sure you subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and also make sure you're checking the community tab too because I post over there a ton. Like new makeup drops, sales, everything like that. It's always going on over there. So make sure you're checking that out and then also make sure if you haven't done so yet, okay, really make sure that you're following me over on Instagram. I will have it linked down below. I'm trying to hit 10K over there. And uh, guys, I freaking love Instagram. I know I talk about it all the time and I'm never gonna quit, okay, because I will hit 10K and when I do, the world will scream, okay? The world's gonna know because it's gonna be the best day of my life. So make sure you follow me over on Instagram. Again, I will have it linked down below. I post a ton of content over there, makeup related content, um, as far as like, you know, new releases, testing them out, uh, reels, IGTV videos, stuff like that. And then I also do plus size fashion, OOTD stylings, and uh, really everything that I love, like outside of YouTube is what I post, you know, in the feed. And then I also hang out a ton in the Insta stories. So if you guys want to just take walks with me, hang out in the office, do unboxings, and just kind of see the new happenings, what's going to be coming to the channel. I do preview all of that over there. So make sure you're following me again, again, for the 15th time, everything will be linked down below. And I would really, really appreciate it if you take a second and go follow me. That would be just absolutely stupendous. But with all of that being said, let's go ahead, zoom this camera in and let's get started. Okay, so we're good and zoomed in. And I want to start off first by going through the Sephora website and just grabbing a little bit of information about this, kind of the overall picture here. So starting off, it looks like it retails for $29.50, so just under 30 bucks. And the size of product is 1.08 ounces. So it is a freckle bigger than a standard foundation. And it comes in, it looks like 25 shades here. It currently has uh, a little over four, about four and a quarter stars with 112 reviews. So, so far it's got pretty good reviews. And in the description, it says that this is a lightweight, buildable, light to medium coverage skin tint that will leave your skin looking blurred and smooth. It is a natural finish. It is vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free, free of parabens and phthalates as well. And it says here that this is an easy to apply, flexible skin tint that Rihanna herself wanted to create. It quickly and visibly evens out your complexion with a blurred effect. The Hydra Blend Complex and Humidity Sweat and Transfer Resistant Formula has a smooth texture that layers well with primer as well as skincare. Okay. And then under suggested use, it says shake well and apply a few drops with your fingers or the full bodied foundation brush. And you can layer it with your skincare primer and of course other makeup if you want to. Um, and if I didn't say this yet, by the way, I have this in shade three. All right. So as far as the packaging here, you have just a plastic little squeezy tube, plastic cap. And I actually like the design of this. I think it looks pretty. It's kind of like an edgy squeezy tube. And I, I, I kind of dig that. Like it's, it's squeezy tube, but make it fashion kind of feel. And I dig it. Um, but let's go ahead here. I have already went ahead. Oh wait, I better prime. I better prime first. Um, cause I already went ahead obviously and did my skincare. Y'all can see my skin is looking nice and uh, hydrated. And I think for primer, I want to keep things consistent with a lot of my other foundation reviews. And so I'm going to go in here with the Tatcha liquid silk canvas. This is a fantastic, fantastic primer. And I'm just going to take some of that, wiggle it through the T-zone and make sure it gets nice and set in. And while we're working this in here, just a couple of things to note. Um, I know with skin tints, obviously everybody applies them 
different, like I said at the beginning here. Um, but with me, just so you guys know kind of going in, I'm someone that likes to even out my complexion, and I don't mind a lighter coverage, but when I have areas of like really intense redness like this right here, I do like to go in and give those a little bit of concealer and just give them like that little added coverage, um, just because if I'm gonna have everything smoothed over and have it looking, you know, more blurred together, I feel like it almost makes the redness stand out that much more. So I like to just give myself a little bit of extra coverage in these areas. So going into this, I'm not going to be using it as, and I'm again, I mentioned this at the beginning, but I'm not going to be using this just as like, oh, light coverage and we're done. Because I really want to show you guys like how I would use it in my day-to-day -day life and, you know, see if it's something that would incorporate well for that or what kind of coverage it gives. Because so far, and I actually, now that's soaked in, I can go ahead. I'm just going to give this a good shake here. Because um, so far, getting into application, I have seen um, a few people apply this. And the one thing they do say, and I've seen it in a couple videos now on the Fenty uh, Instagram. They say to take just a little bit, like a, you know, a little bit there, a little glob on the end of your fingers and work it in kind of all over the face. Um, but the thing that I keep noticing when I see this applied by people is that they always seem, seem to have very nice skin naturally. Um, you know, like maybe some light discoloration, but I haven't really seen anybody go in with this. Oh, wow. That looks gorgeous. Okay. Um, but I haven't seen anybody go in with this that really has, you know, like I have, like a lot of redness, hyperpigmentation, and like really, really bright redness, as well as a bunch of wrinkles, crevasses, and these big old beefy man pores. So I'm really excited, I guess, to get like an overall picture on what I think real skin looks like, like real skin with real textures and a lot, a lot, a lot of issues going on. So let's just go ahead here. It does say to take a very small amount, which I did, but I also, I also have a big face, so I might need a little bit more. Okay. So I'm looking at this nice, and up close. I actually love the way that looks. Hold on, let me zoom you guys in a little bit more. I feel like I feel like you're not quite looking up my nose yet, and we need to rectify the situation immediately. All right, so now that we're nice and nice and close, um, I want you guys to really take a look at over my skin right here. I'm actually really impressed with how this looks, because I feel like, especially right through this area, I carry a lot of hyperpigmentation. I'm probably going to build it up right there just to freckle, but I have a lot of just like old acne scarring right in this area, and I love the way that this is blurring it together, but it's not not really like caking on a ton of coverage at all. Like it's just evening it out. And I think this is really beautiful. And even over my pores too, it looks really nice. And it almost looks like I applied like a finishing powder. It has that kind of texture right through here. By the way, if I haven't said this yet, the texture of the product is absolutely beautiful. Like it has such a silky feeling. So I'm not surprised that it has um, that more blurred out look to it because it just feels so good. But uh, I'm going to take just a little bit here and I want to almost see um, if I can like build up coverage, like maybe tap on a little bit here down in my redness because it did say um, on the back of the box I think and even in the description it says light to medium coverage so I'm gonna take and just kind of lightly pat it over these areas and let it sit there for a second just to see if maybe I can get more coverage to stick where I need it to I'm actually really impressed the amount of coverage I got right here looks really good I feel like I was able to cover the bulk of the redness which is nice okay so a pause really quickly I just realized that um, somebody we're not gonna mention any names Paige but somebody forgot her entire jawline so let me just you know maybe actually put some down here. Uh, guys, I literally missed this whole section of my face. What is wrong with me? Did I do this side? Nope, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely didn't. I'm a hot mess. Two, two beat, beat bitches were coming through. How, how does one forget? See what I told you? I have a big ass face, you guys. A big ass face. All right, so now that I got my gullet done, let's go ahead here, uh, give you one final shot. Everything looks about the same. It is drying down a little bit more, which I like. I actually really enjoy the finish of this. It is exactly as it's specced out, more of a natural finish. You can still see, you know, a little bit of my skincare peeking through. So if you're someone that wants to have like that glowy looking skin, you have dry skin, that sort of thing, I definitely think this is on the breathable side, you can see your actual skin coming through. So your skincare, you know, your glowy primer, all of that's going to really pop, but it's also going to give you that nice evened out complexion. And it's a very, very comfortable dry down so far. Like I don't feel it at all, but it is um, a little bit transfery still. So I'm not sure what'll happen with that, but so far so good. All right. So now I'm going in, you can see I have it all over my face here with some of the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. And I'm taking this primarily um, through the T-zone as well as a little bit here along the jawline just to brighten up my face before I go in with, you know, a light bronzer and all of that. All right, so the Incognito Concealer is all blended out. And I mean, as you can tell, I don't go in with a ton of that because um, on a day like today where it's more of like a CC cream, light coverage, light makeup type day, I really more so focus on just brightening up the under eyes, brightening up the T-zone and really helping to just create that slight sculpt. Um, and it's, it's less about coverage and more about the sculpt and the brightening, I would say. But before I move on, I am gonna take a teeny little bit here of my... 
NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is in the shade Light One Chantilly. It's a little bit light for me, but I want to take a little bit of it here and just tap it over and neutralize this redness. And then uh, I'm going to let that sit there, kind of just do its thing. All right, so now we're going to start moving through the rest of the face here. And uh, as per everyone's request, as we do on this channel, if you're new, I do like to run through um, all the steps, if at all possible, on camera. That way you guys can see the full face and kind of how everything builds. So under the eyes here, I'm just setting that part down first with the Pure Cosmetics uh, Translucent Powder here. I tested this in a video, um, actually testing new pure makeup, which I will link up here if you missed it. It went up a couple of weeks ago. Now, because I am combo leaning oily, I do have to set my entire face, but just keep in mind if you are, you know, normal leaning dry or you're on that side of the spectrum, obviously go in with your products, whatever works best for you, but uh, here's the deal, bitch, okay? If I don't set my whole face and go in with some powder, this shit will be rolling all over my face like it's got four wheels in an engine, and I ain't got time for that, okay? Once I put my makeup on, I want it to stay locked in, and oh wow, that actually looks really beautiful. <gasps> oh my god, like the combination of what I got going on here, right through here, <laughs> gorgeous. Wow. All right, then from there, we're going to move on and set the rest of the face with the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I have this in the shade 150, and I absolutely love this. I absolutely love it, darling. Um, for setting down the rest of my face, it works so beautifully. The texture of it is so nice, light, and soft. Before I go in really quick here with bronzer and blush and move on with the face, I wanted to show you guys where we were actually at as far as coverage, because I know when I zoom it out, it tends to make my skin look a little, you know, better with the lighting and the camera and all of that. So I wanted to bring you guys in. That way you can see we really are at more of just like a light medium kind of coverage here. Like up through my cheeks, I still do have um, some of my redness peeking through. Even across my cheeks on both sides, you can see it coming across. But um, I really like this. I like how evened everything looks. Again, more of like a light to medium feel. And as we go through, I'm just going to do like a lighter application blush and bronzer. All right, so I'm just moving through really quick here these other steps of getting the face finished. Starting off with this Jaclyn Hill duo here. This is the Ohana bronzer and the pink me up uh, blush right here so just going in first with the bronzer adding a little bit of light sculpt it doesn't have to be too much I actually love this color on me it works really really well and then go in after that with a little bit of the little pink blush here this is just a refer 05 brush super super duper fantastic brushes oh my god I cannot wait until they restock the concept store I love them so much also just wondering to anybody else do I look so weird being on here in like all black because when I film normally um, I try to wear like you know cute colorful shirts and cute little outfits, but uh, this video, because like I said before, it came in uh, so late here, it's actually coinciding with a day that I have to be out on the shop floor, and what that means is that in my real life, I actually have to wear like all black, and I'm gonna get, you know, like dirt on me and stuff, and I just think it's so funny because looking on camera, I look, <laughs> I just look so different. All right, now I noticed I went a little bit too intense in with the blush, so I'm just, big surprise, Paige, big surprise. Um, so I'm gonna take just a little bit here of the uh, Brighten Up Banana Powder from Essence, and just lightly run that under. Uh, my eyes kind of push that blush back a little bit. Oh my god, that is just absolute perfection. I just tried to look in this. Yeah, it's a mirror. No, it's not. All right, then next up from there, I'm going to set my entire face with the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Setting Spray. Just a, just a couple little passes there. All right, now next up, I'm using this big old beefy highlight from Undone Beauty. And if you missed it, I just did a full video of Undone Beauty. I'll link it in the cards here. Um, or it's actually the video before the one you're watching right now. It's like a 45-minute girl. She's, she's beefy. And uh, I went through and I tested out actually everything from the brand, all the formulas. We go through, talk about it, swatch it, the works. And I give you all my thoughts. God, that is just so beautiful. And by the way, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, this highlight palette is $10. $10. Yes, bitch. All right, so next up here, I'm taking the Huda Beauty Micro Shade Brow Pencil. This is in the shade 5, and I'm just lightly sculpting out the brows with it. I got to give myself a little kind of brow hair. Y'all know naturally I got like seven hairs, so we got we to gotta do something about that. All right, then from there, I'm taking the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is in the shade 3.5, just to make my brows look a little bit more fluffy. Okay, and then just for fun, because I mentioned it in that Undone Beauty video, I actually want to take this purple right here and put that all over the lid. I just put down a little bit of concealer first. And now I want to take and run that. Ooh, that's really pretty. I'm just going to take and run that all over the lid here. Just by itself for a little dash of color. God, that's a beautiful color. Okay, 
I'm not mad at you. All right, and then from there, I just went ahead and sprayed my face with a little bit of the Catrice Dewy Glow Setting Spray. And then next up here, I'm just gonna build up a little mascara. This is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. So while I was off of camera, obviously doing my mascara, I just went ahead and did lips at the same time. And for that, I did this little combo here. This is the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner in the shade Because Duh, which is one of my favorite, favorite shades. I love it. It's like $2.99 and it's fantastic. The formula is amazing. So I did that and then, whoops, which I, which I then threw on the ground. Then over top of that, I went in with this really beautiful new shade from Buxom. This is their full-on plumping lip cream and it's in the shade Bahama Mama. Isn't this packaging absolutely gorgeous? But with the lips done, obviously that concludes the full face and I wanted to pause real quick before I go out the day and before I go and fix this hair because dear God, it's a situation. Uh, but before I go do anything here, I wanted to first and foremost pause and give you guys an up close. That way you can see how everything is looking so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that up on the screen. And for me at this point, um, I will say I like the way my skin looks. I like that it does have more of like that breathable, airy kind of finish to it. I think over my cheeks, you know, you can definitely still see a little of the skin peeking through. You can see that redness just kind of lightly there beneath the surface, but everything looks really beautiful, nice and even, which I love. Um, the only thing that I'm not obsessed with at this point, and it could just be like maybe all the products need a little bit more time to kind of jive together, but the only thing I'm not loving is that it does look a little bit heavy through my T-zone, like up on my nose, right in this region, like over my cheeks, the apples in my cheek. Like I said, that could just be something that, you know, once my natural oils come out, everything smooths together. Oh, and something else I wanted to mention too that I thought was really good with this uh, blurring skin tint here that's actually setting it apart from a lot of the other CC creams that I've used is that when I went in and I set my entire face, and this is gonna be important. If you're like me, you have acne, you have to set everything down. Um, for me, I noticed when I go in and set my face like with a powder foundation, a loose powder, whatever, over like acne hyperpigmentation, like what I had down here or up on my cheeks, stuff like that. Notice that a lot of times though, the CC cream, when I go in to set it, it almost like um, like repels itself, like the coverage all strips off, and it ends up leaving me looking more red and more pronounced in those areas. I love that with this one um, from Fenty, that didn't happen. Like everything is staying so well, whether it was setting it with powder foundation, I went over with my bronzer, my blush, and all the other stuff, and uh, this one is just staying really, really well. Like it's having a better, a better lock into my skin than a lot of other CC creams, and I'm wondering if it's because that texture kind of dries down and it gives you more of like a natural finish versus a lot of like other CC creams that are more on the hydrating side or more on that like, you know, slightly dewy type texture. Don't get me wrong, obviously I'm not 100% sure that that's it, but if I sit here and I think in my head about like my other CC creams that I use, the first ones that popped into my head, this one I have sitting next to me because I love it. This is the Pretty Fresh um, Hyaluronic Acid Skin Tint from ColourPop. It's really beautiful, but again, gives you more of like that hydrated look on the skin. Same thing with the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. This is also Hyaluronic Acid and Squalane. Super duper beautiful, kind of light buildable coverage, more on the hydrating side. And then even the new one from Urban Decay, the new Hydromaniac, that one's also on the more hydrating side of things. So I think, again, when I think back, I can't necessarily like tie the two together, but I do notice that the one thing that really sets this CC cream apart is that really beautiful kind of light finishing powder type texture to it. Like it has such a smooth consistency, but it's smooth in a way that doesn't feel like overly hydrating. It doesn't feel dewy. It just feels smooth and almost creamy in a way. And in my mind, there just has to be some kind of a tie between that type of a texture and the way that it kind of buffs into my skin versus the other ones that tend to be, again, more hydrating and more lifted. But with that huge ass explanation of CC creams out of the way that literally no one asked for, whoops, um, I'm gonna go ahead, run off of camera, go do my day, and I will stop back on at the end. We will talk about, you know, obviously the up close, how it wore, and all the good things. So hang tight and I will be right back. All right, you guys, so I am back. It's been about 10 and a half hours since I saw you last this morning. And I'm here to give you, of course, my final thoughts, opinions, check-ins, and all the good things. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. This really shouldn't take that long because truthfully, um, I am so impressed, you guys. Like I like I said, I've been wearing this for 10 and a half hours and I actually think over the planes of my face, it looks really, really good. It held on beautifully throughout the day. Um, I mean, you can definitely see, you know, a little movement, a little texture, stuff like that. But again, wearing it all day long, you know, I've been out doing a bunch of stuff inside, outside, whatnot. And I think that that area held on beautifully. Now, contrasting the planes of my face to this T-zone area, I'm not surprised to see a lot more sloughage and a lot more movement through there because of course, as we've talked about a thousand times, I am more combo leaning oily. So for me, you know, anytime those oils come up, you have to blot them off, you know, dealing with that in and of itself will just cause that little bit of sloughage, that little bit of movement. But something that I did think was cool that I wanted to mention is that today, as I was going through and like blotting off my nose, you know, as we oily people do, um, I noticed that uh, in blotting it off, I actually didn't have much, if any, transfer from this um, CC cream, which in general, if you're used to wearing CC creams or anything like that, like the 
ones I was talking about this morning, um, you find that, or at least I do, that a lot of times when I blot them off, they tend to transfer, like I lose coverage, I lose that, that pigment from them. And uh, I noticed with this one, like I said, that I just didn't get that transfer, which I thought was really awesome because that tells me that it was doing a much better job really sticking and adhering to my skin. Now, that being said, though, keep it in mind if you are on the dry side that this one is not going to be nearly as dewy as what you might be used to with like a traditional CC cream, hyaluronic acid infused, you know, that kind of thing. This is definitely going to be, you know, geared a little bit more in the other direction. Not to say that I think people with dry skin couldn't like it and enjoy it, but just something to note. If you're used to that side of the spectrum, this is going to be a little bit different, which honestly, that's probably part of the reason that it worked much better for my skin um, than a lot of other CC creams I've tried because the build and the texture and the, the finish of it all really work a lot nicer because, you know, my skin, my skin is a little bit more inhospitable for stuff like that. So all of this being said, again, I do really enjoy the product itself, but there are a couple of things that I would, you know, trade out a couple of other textures that I want to try with it. Starting off with primer. Today I used the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas, and I think instead of that, I actually want to try the Tatcha um, Regular Silk Canvas, the one that comes in the little jar here, because the other one, the liquid one that I used today, does tend to pull a little bit more hydrating, and I want to try this to see if maybe I could keep it a little bit more matte through here, as well as have the thicker, almost like putty-ish kind of texture that this has to fill in the pores and maybe keep that filled in a little bit longer throughout the day, because I think that that might make a difference both on the hydrating side or me being too oily, as well as my pores, because my pores through here, even right now, they do look a little bit more emphasized than I would like, right through um, like this region and a little bit up here on my forehead. So something like this might really help with that. But anyways, you guys, that is it for me. I don't have anything else to add, I don't think. Um, of course, if I come up with anything, I'll either pin it in a comment or leave it in the description box. But as of right now, that is it. I really hope this was helpful. And of course, if you guys have anything you wanna say, if you're curious about this, if you like the review, or if you have any questions, you can feel free to drop those all down in the description box and I will do my best to help you. Um, again, at this point, I haven't really worn it a lot, but if there's anything I can answer, I absolutely will. And of course, like I said at the start of the video, don't forget you guys can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below and I would really, really appreciate it if you check me out on Instagram. I actually posted a makeup reel today and oh my God, it turned out so damn cute. Um, so make sure you follow me again. Everything will be linked down below. I'll have everything that I used linked as well. Thank you all again so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you all have an amazing, amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. You guys, today's video, I can already tell, it's just, it's off to a hot start, okay? First of all, I'm getting blended by the light. Okay. Now from there, let's grab a powder. Let's grab a powder. Let's grab, let's grab a powder. Let's grab a powder. Let's grab, let's grab a powder.